Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing a Black Friday unboxing. What are you doing over there? Missy, Missy, well, meow, what are you doing over there? Stop scratching. All right, so I'm going to get all set up. I've got a few things to go through. I do have a few things that are still coming. Um, this is the uh, large mystery box from Young Nails. I also ordered one other package, a uh, few items, uh, monomer stuff that was on sale. So that's probably coming on Tuesday, but I will record that after the fact. But we've got some Daily Charm goodies, some liquid chromes that I got from Amazon, Zilla View, and I've got um, Lizette Cruz gel nails. So I hope everyone's Thanksgiving was a lot of fun, that you feasted, that you spent time with family, that you just had a generally good, relaxing day. I'm exhausted um, between work and school and then Thanksgiving yesterday and back to school today. It's been crazy but I'm so excited to receive these packages. I've been waiting all week for them. Um, so you may have seen in one of my other videos that I do have a crystal box that I had received, or not received, I bought, from uh, Lizette Gel Nails, which is this set. You've got the champagne and the emerald, and these are actually two different shades of emerald. I don't know if that's intentional or not. These are a little bit more blue. These are more true emerald. But I love her crystals. I love the fact that they all come in a box. Um, they are individually wrapped, which you'll see when I open the other ones. But it keeps everything very well organized. It's co color coordinated and I love it. Love it, love it. So we're going to get into that. I've already opened up all the boxes just so that I don't have to do that on camera. Um, this I just left bubble wrapped so that we could have a bit of a true unboxing. So I got two different bling it boxes. Um, I should have brought a garbage bag in here. This one is Ruby and um, Sapphire, if I can get it open. And this one is, I don't remember what the names of these stones are. Um, I'll have to, actually I have the receipt right here. Siam and Sapphire, no the other one is Siam and Sapphire, this one is Light Rose and Tanzanite. So I'm guessing Siam, because I know what Sapphire is, Siam is the dark red, uh, the ruby red, and then the light rose and tanzanite. So very excited for these, play around with a few different colors, come up with some things for the holidays. And then I also got some more jewelry for the nails, some chains in rose gold. Well, these are mixed metals. Um, yellow gold, rose gold, and silver. Um, I've never worked with chains before on the nails, so I'll be excited to play around with that. I don't know if I'm adventurous enough to have it on my own nails yet, but you never know. A year ago, I would have said that I wouldn't put charms on my own nails, and look at where we are now. So um, I'm gonna come up with a few designs for the holidays and see um, what we can make out of that. So then moving on to some more crystals. This is the um, mystery bag that I ordered from Daily Charm, which I've never ordered a mystery bag from Daily Charm before. I'm very uh, particular about the things that I order. Um, I don't wanna pay the money for something and then receive it and not like it or be able to use it. That being said, I was pleasantly surprised with everything that I got. I think there's only one thing in the bag that I probably wouldn't actually use on myself, but I could always put it in some sort of design. Um, and that's these butterflies. They're a little bit large for me, um, um, but they're cool because the wings move. And 
And then these are shell pieces, which I do have some shell pieces already. Uh, they can be broken up into smaller pieces and encapsulated on the nail. They're a lot of fun to play with and I love all the different shades of blue, green, and purple in here. So we'll play around with that. Then we've got some pearls, which I definitely want to work with pearls in actually my next manicure. Um, the name of the video is going to be She Wears Pearls, which yes, she will. I'm um, still coming up with the design for that, but these will be used. And then very pertinent for being in Florida, these shell charms, which I'm absolutely in love with. I'm not really a yellow gold person, so I'll have to see if I can figure out a design for it. Um, maybe embed some crisp, uh, uh, what is it called? Glitter. Uh, something with like a sandy texture, make it look kind of like a beach scene. Um, do the uh, water reflection technique. Uh, that could be a lot of fun. And then this is the um, what I was surprised the most about, this huge bag of multi um, multicolored crystals, rhinestones. Um, a little bit more springtime, so I don't think I'm ready to use these yet, but maybe coming into March and April, um, we can do this for the spring holidays. Then you've got some sticker charms. We've got a ring palette. Then I believe these are foils. I'm not exactly sure. These uh, may be transfer foils, which in a lacy pattern. And then let's see, there's a few more things in here. See, this is what I'm saying. I think I paid $36 for this, and this is a huge, huge bargain. And I love the bag, which I will be keeping. Okay, so we've got some more shell pieces. These are in like an, op are these shell pieces or glitters? Glitters that are somewhat dusty for some reason. But these are like an opalescent snowy um, hexagon glitter. And then we've got some foils. Holographic. We've got some more, oh, I forgot about these. These rose charms. Uh, well, uh, this is um, making me think of Beauty and the Beast. Um, these rose charms in, a, um, in an oval frame. And then some suns. And then we've got some striping tape. So all this for $36, I believe. I'll have to look up the price. Fantastic, fantastic bargain. And then if that wasn't enough, I also just bought on my uh, separate, I needed to replenish some of my crystals. I bought this one specifically for a nail design that's coming up. These are absolutely stunning. I actually broke into it the other day for one of the other videos that I was doing. Um, I think I have it right here. I pulled this stone from it. But look at these. I mean, they're so stunning. love that one but yeah so they've got some pointy backs in here which I've never used before um, some clear pointy backs some um, oh right that that's why it looks weird it's upside down um, pointy back and some flat back flat backs I just find easier to use easier to place and uh, set on the nail the pointy backs I've never used before I'll have to figure out um, how to apply them so they're not an obstruction on the nail. But we're going to put them back in here for now. And then I got some more stars, which I already have. I got some 
uh, black and gray and kind of like milky stones. And then you'll notice similar on my nail, I pulled these from this package. Um, but one of the things that I was very excited to receive, which now I don't know how I'm going to use, um, I wanted to use these specifically for New Year's. Oop. This little guy. Um, I figured it would kind of like a Lunula accent that it would go perfectly in the um, in the curve of the cuticle, but obviously it doesn't bend to the shape of the nail. It's a bit larger than I thought it was going to be, so I don't quite know how to place it on the nail. Oh, maybe like that. That could work. All right, I'll have to play with it. But so that is daily, oh, and some caviar beads. I got rose gold caviar beads. Um, if you saw my video, I was using, I don't remember what the video was for. I was doing something that where I was putting in what I thought were caviar beads, but they are um, not caviar beads. They are pixie crystals. And I really wanted rose gold caviar beads. So these are a slightly different tone. They're not really as rose gold as I wanted them to be. But that is the Daily Charm haul. So I'm going to get everything into the bag and put it off to the side and we will move on to Zillabue. So from Zilla View, I got the Etoile set. Um, I'm not sure what Etoile means, it's French. Um, but From the Nail is one of my favorite companies. Um, I I was really ramping myself up for Black Friday this year, the Black Friday sales. I was so excited for it. I didn't get to do it last year because I didn't have any money and I was really excited this year. I seemed to be doing pretty well and then I lost my job. And so then I'm, I truly, I shouldn't have gotten anything, but I really wanted to get something uh, from Zilla View. And honestly, I was, I forced myself to buy this because I wanted something and there didn't seem to be anything that I really was drawn to because let's be honest, if there's something I want during the course of the year, I buy it. So I've got a crap ton of product right in front of me that you can't see and it's getting ridiculous but I like ever have that need for something you don't care what it is you just want something you want to take part you want to be part of the festivities you want to say I got this on Black Friday and um, this is the card by the way you put the um, the swatches on it the swatch card so I saw these and I kept coming back to them and I decided that this would be the one thing that I get. And I'm worried that I already have one of them. Uh, this is FG25. Um, this one's 87, because they all kind of look the same when I looked at them before. Let's see if we have a 25 in here. No, okay, so thankfully I didn't already have it, but it is in the same vein. And I love this box, it's such a beautiful box. I had to figure out where to display it. Uh, but basically they're all um, multifaceted glitters. This one seems to be a little bit looser consistency than the ones that I was looking at um, in the box. Um, and I will show you and I'm gonna swatch them later. Um, and this actually has a swatch uh, sticker on top. I did not do this. This was already done. So I may do the same and just put the swatch dot on top, but they're all um, glitters of a sort. 
And you can see this one is quite a bit thicker than the one I already had. But this one's silver. Gold with some hollow. This is why I thought I already had it. This one's very similar um, to number 25. Then we've got another rose gold, but this one seems to have a pink background instead of a green background. Um, clear, rather. Pink instead of clear. And then this one is a brighter pink. So I'm gonna swatch them all in a little bit, but let's finish going through the rest of our products. I'm just gonna close this up and set it aside and take a sip of coffee while I'm at it. That's the wrong mug. Oh, that's so good. So the last item before we move on to Young Nails are these um, liquid chrome powders. And I actually already did a swatch the other day because I was so impatient, I wanted to play with it. And this is what I got. Now in the bottle, it looks like it shifts more than it does on the nail, so I'll have to swatch all of them. But honestly, I bought these just because of the jars because I think they're so cool. They kind of look like they have um, some kind of liquid in the top, but they don't. But they're going to be beautiful on display. They're six colors, and they are um, they look like unicorn chromes. Wow. And this is what it's been like all week for me. But this one shifts green red. This one shifts uh, like a blue purple. This one has some blue purple and um, yellow in it got pink and then you've got your blues and your yellows and um, coppers so I'm gonna be swatching all of these later but I really need to find some place to put these on display because I really love the way they look and they're very easy to apply uh, this is the one that I used on this nail and you can see um, on the sides maybe maybe not in this light um, that it's shifting green which you're not really getting when you have it on the nail. But it has a sponge tip applicator, which makes it very easy to apply. Kind of looks like lipstick, don't get it confused. You just, same process as you would do with any chrome. You flash cure a uh, no wipe top coat. You wipe it over the surface, you wait for it to dry, then you burnish it in, um, finish the cure, and then top coat it. So we're going to play with those in a little bit. And they did come with more sponge tip applicators, which now I could probably open up a store for sponge tip applicators. I've got so many. And for our last package of the day, our large mystery box from Young Nails. Now, if you, I was kind of disappointed because they spoiled the box before I even got it. You know, they went online, they posted videos of what was in each box, which I appreciate to an extent. Um, obviously, if someone's on the fence about purchasing it and the, um, they want to know what's in the box, what's in the box? Um, then it, it's good to know. You'll make more sales. But um, I bought it because it was a mystery and then I knew what was in it. Uh, but it's got quite a lot in it. Some stuff that I, I'm excited to try, some stuff I'm a little less excited about and feel like don't necessarily need, but all in all, I think it was well worth it. So I'm going to go through everything that, that was in the box, but first I want to take it out of the box.
I don't know why everything is dusty. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? So first and foremost, right in front of you, let me zoom out a bit. We've got this e-file. So I've got e-files up to wazoo now, but I am excited to try this one because it is portable and wireless and it comes with this separate battery pack. Not a battery pack, but a control system. So. I feel like it's going to have a little bit more power than the ones that are uh, just the wand. So I'm going to unbox, unbox that in a little bit and I may do a video just using this and reviewing it. Um, I do have someone at work that was looking to purchase an e-file. So I had received, when I joined the Zillabue uh, Plus membership, they sent out a, um, an e-file. So I'm not sure, I may end up giving her this one because I probably won't be using it and I'll keep the one from Young Nails. Uh, then also what came in the package and this is all dusty, I don't know why. Where is my brush? Something clearly leaked. Uh, these are, I thought that they're just listed as art pens. Uh, shaders, but I was watching them use them on the channel and they seem like they're similar to alcohol inks in the way that they spread across the nail. Um, yeah, butyl acetate, ethyl acetate, uh, um, isopropyl alcohol, they're alcohol inks um, in pen form. So I'll be very interested to play with these. They're colors that I don't have. Um, honestly, they're kind of odd colors, but um, I'll play around with those. Got a set of art pens, um, or art brushes rather. And I believe it also came with, there's a, like a little leather pouch that you can put them away in to bring them with you. So that's cool. Um, there's some ones in here that I don't have. And I'm always looking, you know, to try new, uh, new brushes. So we'll see how well those work. Stain resistant gel top coat and manicure fiber gel. This is something that I was looking forward to trying. Um, I've never used any kind of fiber gel uh, product before. So that'll be fun to play with. Um, I just wish I knew why. Everything was so dusty. Everything is really sealed very well. I don't know. It's clearly an acrylic powder got out. Um, but these bottles are actually a lot larger than I thought they were going to be. Um, and I haven't used any of Young Nails' gel products before. So that's going to be fun to play with. Their chrome powder palette. I'm really, really wanting a red chrome this season. So I'm going to be playing with that. And then their uh, glitters, glitter trees. And then you've just got um, uh, small hex glitters. This one's pretty, it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. I'm gonna take them out of the bag because the bag is all dusty. I may have to play with this going into New Year's. But they're all holographic glitters. Meow. What? What, baby? Meow. This one is a blue green shift. This one is a red yellow green shift. S sort of like a pastel -y rainbow shift. And this is just true hollow. Christine would be proud. 
Now, because they sent a drill, they also sent some bits. Don't really need the mandrel bit, but okay. And um, I've never used the, um, the round bit, but I can certainly play around with that. Slick pour, which is part of their dip system. Now, this is something I wish they would do with their acrylic powders. I hate, 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 young nails, if you're watching, I hate your acrylic jars. I don't like that I don't know what the color is just by looking at the jars, and I shouldn't have to swatch them and put little sw swatch dots on top of them. Every single, I won't say every single, all the um, acrylic powder companies that I know of, um, that I'm familiar with, you can see what the color is through the jar. Um, and I love this jar. This is a beautiful jar for their dip powder. And I wish they would do something similar for their acrylic powder. And in all honesty, I didn't realize that Young Nails even did dip powder system. Oh, that's what I get for talking smack. Um, And clearly this is what got all over the um, the box. Anyway, this is a beautiful color. I'm sure I could probably use it for acrylic application as well. I will test it for that. But right now I'm going to try to clean up. Okay, so maybe I don't like these jars at all. All right, so I cleaned that up as best I could for now. Um, hopefully none of the sparkles got into my coffee because I really don't need to be drinking dip powder. Um, anyway, moving on, they have a new system of extreme low odor. Am I? Yes, we've got another leaking powder. Looks like I'll be contacting Young Nails about sending out a replacement of some stuff. So they're launching their new product of extremely low, o extremely low, o wow, extremely low odor powders and monomers. Now, unfortunately, the monomer can't be used for any other acrylic systems. It can only be used with their powders. They're uh, extremely low odor powders. Um, so yeah. This is opened, which is why it's all over the box. So this is bright pink, uh, clear nail pot powder, protein bond, could always appreciate a new, another, uh, of another jar of protein bond cover nude. Sheer pink and bright white. All right, so last few things that came in the box are their cream clays, which are potted gels. I'm not gonna go and open them all right now, but I will be swatching them, potentially in this video, potentially at a later date. Um, then we've got sanding bands. These are medium, 150 zebra sanding bands. Uh, usually medium is about 180 grit, although this doesn't specify what the grit is. Uh, zebra bands usually are about 180 uh, grit. And then also medium stiletto, no well tips. Um, I have not used their tips. The only tips I've ever used either on myself or 
on practice hands are uh, the Painted Desert. So it'll be interesting to play around with these and see how they go. Uh, these are, yeah, they're tips. So um, they're not uh, full, uh, full coverage nails, but they can pl be placed further down on the nail. They don't have to be only at the tip. You can place them, you know, as far down as you want um, to achieve the length that you want. So these feel like they're really good quality. Um, I have used um, partial cover tips before by Melody Susie. Um, so I'll be, you know, looking forward to playing around with these. And I like that uh, the case is numbered uh, with what is what. So that is the haul. Um, I'm going to get cleaned up and um, organized and then we'll go into doing some swatches. I'm not gonna swatch everything in this video, or maybe maybe I'll do a separate swatching video um, so this isn't too long. Who knows? I'm sorry, I missed something. Um, this is a six piece implement mat, many, met, Manny Petty toolkit, which I will open because I want to look at the quality of the products. Um, did receive a Manny Petty kit with my kit when I started school. Some of the items are of better quality than others. I'm honestly just looking for something to differentiate my stuff from the other students so that they don't get mixed up and I don't wind up with somebody else's tools. Because everything at a certain point kind of just starts soaking in the same solution to disinfect. Um, I believe these are um, holographic burnished. So these will be easy to tell, you know, what's mine and what's theirs. They feel like really good quality. Won't know until I use them though. They've got good weight to them though. They're not cheap. This is good for getting underneath uh, the nail to clean up from filing and to get around um, underneath the epinichium and the, um, the proximal nail fold. I'll have to look up what some of these are and how you use them because there's some that I haven't seen before. All right, and I like the fact that it comes in a case. This is a very nice case. So that, in fact, does it for this video. I am going to um, do the swatching in another video. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, I know I probably sound tired and frustrated. It's been a long um, five, six weeks, but thank you everyone for staying with me and for bearing with me and um, following along with me. And I really do appreciate it. And I hope um, I can ask for a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always know when there are new videos available. And I will see you in the next video, which actually starting tomorrow is our 25 days of holiday nails um, using the Madame Glam advent calendar. So look for that. There'll be a video posting every day. Some days there'll be more than one video posting as I do my own manicures and some nail sets that I have in mind coming in through the new year. So it's going to be a very busy um, and fun month. So Please check back, check back often, and I will see you then. Bye. All right, so I got my final package, part of the Black Friday pre-sales that I partook in, and it's a small package. Um, I, in fact, forgot what I ordered, uh, but I got some Young Nail Swipe Solution and some Protein Bond, which I forgot that I'd even ordered too. At first I thought, Wow, I didn't know that two came in a package, but they don't. <laughs> I ordered two. So I've got 
two protein bonds. So now I've got three um, brand new ones, which I'm very excited about. I got some swipe solution, which I don't know if I necessarily even need it. Uh, this goes back to me thinking that I need to get something, even if I don't need it. Um, but happy to try it. Um, I guess it works just the same as alcohol to cleanse the nail, especially formula formulated to cleanse the nail plate and work as pre-prep uh, pre by both dehydrating and cleansing. Swipe removes dust, contaminants, and oils from the nails before applying enhancements. Also helps in removing sticky layer from Synergy Gels. Uh, ingredients, isopropyl alcohol, dimethyl ketone uh, water, and blue number one. So basically, it's isopropyl alcohol. So, yeah. And then I got a, a ginormous bottle of monomer, which will probably take me the next six months, if not a year, to go through because I don't actually do acrylic that often. But it was a really, really amazing sale, and I figured I had to partake in that at least because... I am trying to do acrylics more and more. Um, and also, once I start doing it professionally, if I'm working from home, I will definitely be using more monomer. So that's going to, that takes us to the end of this haul. If I didn't say it before, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned, coming, starting, coming, starting uh, tomorrow is my 25 days of holiday nails with Madam Glam's advent calendar, starting with day number one. And um, I hope you're looking forward to it. So drop a comment if you have any, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos are available and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.